Please join me in inviting President Barack Obama and Kehinde Wiley to unveil the portrait. Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're checking out the Greenleaf Studios, Resident Evil 3, Jill Valentine, one fourth scale resin statue. They have now made all the three main female characters in the Resident Evil franchise. So we have Ada Wong, Jill Valentine and Claire Redfield. All three statues together just look amazing. I've actually got this Claire Redfield and it's such a nice piece, it's probably one of the best statues I've ever picked up. And I've also got this Ada Wong which was just shipped out, so I should have this piece pretty soon. I will be sure to do an unboxing review of it for you guys. So if you guys want to check that out, then just be sure to hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss out. I think this Jill Valentine just really helps to complete the set. I'm really debating whether or not to pick this piece up. I most likely will, I mean, if I've already got Ada and Claire. There's no reason why I shouldn't pick up Jill. So you know, I may pre-order this piece pretty soon. Let me know if any of you guys out there have any of these statues, and if you guys are planning to pick up this Jill Valentine. I mean, just imagine, having all these three statues on display. It's just gonna look super badass, and uh, to be truthfully honest, these are probably some of the best video game statues that I've ever seen. They just complement each other so nicely, not to mention the bases on these statues are just insane, I mean, they're so detailed. And I think these statues are gonna be some of the fan favorites, so I think they're gonna sell out pretty fast. Okay, so let's check out the release date. So the estimated time arrival is going to be April 2022, which is one year away. So yeah, we're not going to see this piece for a very long time. And this arrival date is not even set. It's probably going to be delayed or even changed. So you know, I wouldn't rely on these dates. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the statue. I've got to say they've done a really fantastic job on the sculpting. First thing I gotta point out is the clothing. It seems like the clothing is made out of fabric, just like the Ada Wong. And of course, as you guys would expect, the statue is cast off. It's kind of funny because their Claire Redfield statue was not cast off. And the clothing was not made of fabric, it was made out of resin. So uh, yeah, I really don't know why they made the Jill Valentine and the Ada Wong out of fabric. And of course, as some of you guys may know, they actually made two versions of Ada Wong. They made one completely out of resin, and they made the other one out of fabric. So yeah, just an interesting design choice. I think the face looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what specific game this head sculpt is based off. It seems to be pretty inspired by the uh, remake design of Jill Valentine, which just came out last year. I think that's probably the closest match that I can find. It's obviously not based off her, say, Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 5 appearance. So yeah, the more that I think about it, it's definitely based off the remake. Although as you guys can see, the outfit is based off her original design from Resident Evil 3. So once again, just an interesting design choice. I would have loved if they made the outfit based off the remake. I think it was a great redesign for the character and uh, you know we haven't really had any statues of that specific design of Jill, apart from the collector's edition statue. So yeah, I just kinda wish they made an alternate outfit based off the remake. I just love all these strands of hair sculpted in there. It just looks very detailed and uh, it's a very visually appealing looking piece. It's got a very nice skin complexion and I love how they painted the lips a light red. I don't know why Greenleaf Studios always have this choker around the neck. They seem to have added this on uh, quite a lot of their statues when the character doesn't even have a choker like this in the game. They also added it on the Tifa, so uh, yeah, I just really don't get that. The rifle also seems pretty nicely done. I like the design choice of her holding the rifle over her shoulder. It just looks very cool, it looks very badass. She looks like a very strong female character, which I think is really great to see. And uh, yeah, overall, it's just a very great pose for a statue. Here we have a look at the base. I just love the base here, it's so artistic. As you can see, we have this dead hunter, which is pretty much like another character on this entire base. That's the thing I love about Greenleaf Studios. They always have these massive bases, which are highly detailed, and they're very unique display bases that you probably wouldn't see anywhere else. So yeah, I just love this. I mean, look at all the detailing. I think we even have this, uh, I'm really not sure what it is. I think it's like a traffic light. And then here we have a look at how tall the statue stands. So of course, the statue is one four scale. It measures 556 millimeters tall. So yeah, this is a pretty large piece. 
If you guys have owned any 1-4 scale statues, then uh, I think you'll pretty much know what to expect. But if you guys are first timers to this scale, then uh, yeah, you may want to be prepared and make a bit of space. Because these statues do require a lot of room. And uh, here we have a look at the back. I mean look at the detail here, like all these muscle definitions sculpted in there. It's super realistic. I just think Greenleaf Studios are getting better and better. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys like the statue, if you dislike it, and if you're planning to pick it up. I've got a lot more videos on the way, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. I hope you guys have a great day, thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Alright, take it easy guys.